Today we're going over my entire Air Force One collection. We got about 40 shoes to get through, so let's go ahead and get started with the first pair. And that's the classic all-white Air Force One. Now this pair in particular is pretty crusty and actually pretty dusty at the same time. I used these for a video a while ago, getting them dirty and cleaning them back up. And then I bought a new pair and then I lost that pair. And I still couldn't find them for this video, but either way, these kind of been sitting in my garage for a while and low key I need to dust them off and give them away because I know they would definitely serve a lot more justice on somebody else's feet than sitting in my garage. Also, make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video to see what my wife picks as her top five favorite Air Force Ones for my collection. Now, continuing on with the all white Air Force Ones, this pair is similar, but with a little twist and that's gonna be the Cactus Jack Utopia Air Force Ones. These came out, I don't know, like last year or a year and a half ago, something like like that and I was like bruh I really don't need these but at the same time I ended up coming across them for a deal and they weren't going for much over the retail price for a standard pair of Air Force Ones so I was like you know what I might as well cop them and add them to the collection oh yeah if you didn't know by now my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Speaking about adding to the collection, one of my most recent pickups when it comes to Air Force Ones, the Tiffany Air Force One. I got these, now there's like two different versions. You got the friends and family and you got this version. I wasn't able to get the friends and family just yet, but just know I'm working on it. Either way, I ended up picking these up. Shout out to the homies over at Untied LA. They had a pair of my size and I, again, it wasn't one of my top sneakers of the year, but at the same time, I did want to add these to my collection and the prices just kept creeping up and I'm like, like, bro, I gotta work a deal. So I worked out a trade, I ended up getting the shoe, I got them for a solid price out of pocket for me. It made sense, so I was like, you know what? It's finally time to add these to my collection. And I actually just recently added these like, low key like a month and a half or two months ago. It was either like in December or January, I don't remember. But either way, this is definitely one of my most recent pickups. Actually, I take that back, I have another one. A couple weeks ago, I was at Super Bowl weekend and I forgot they dropped the Las Vegas Air Force Ones and I went to the Shoe Palace party and they ended up giving me a pair for me and my mom, so I was very thankful for that. And this is again, another great addition to the collection because not only do I have stories for this sneaker, but I think it's dope and nostalgic how they bring it back, giving you that old early two thousands vibe with the patent leather and the different hits on the sneaker so for me i definitely think this is a great piece to the collection yo quick disclaimer all the shoes will be listed down below in the description of this video and if i have any reviews related to those sneakers i'll make sure i list those reviews in the links down below as well so if you have any questions or want to see timestamps, that'll all be down below let's take it to the next shoe we have the halloween air force ones there are a couple different versions one was two-tone with the print with the color in the back and then a different color in the front end and then this one was two-tone with the print with the split down the middle of the shoe so you have the patent leather on both sides and then you got the black and the orange and then here on the inside of the foot as you can see all orange here all black there and then you got the skeleton with the hand and the same thing on the inside of the shoe I've done a full review either way I uh, picked these up uh, a few years ago a couple years ago something like that very nostalgic a sneaker that hits home and got so many memories from all the Air Force runs coming out back in the day to current time so to go back and reach back and pick these up and grab them and add them back to the collection I think was definitely a great feeling and I know the shoe looks like it's dead stock but trust me it has been worn and I have worn them once but I'm trying to take care of them and keep them in pristine condition at the same time because this is something that you don't come across often and who knows, they might retro it, but you don't really typically see these type of Air Force Ones getting retroed. They just kind of like come out with new stuff over the years. So for me in particular, I think with the Halloween Air Force Ones with the skeleton foot and all that different stuff, I like those. But these ones, I like these a lot. Now, another shoe that I really like, but I think I'm actually gonna be getting rid of, and that is gonna be this all red Air Force One. Honestly, very simple, very clean. You got that classic nostalgic vibe with the orange swoosh right here on the tongue, the leather hit on the back end. And then you got this mesh material all throughout the upper. And honestly, again, very clean shoe, but it's a size 12 and these things do not feel good. I tried to make it work. I think I'm actually gonna be getting rid of these. So if you guys are interested, shopdnashow.com. I have a bunch of other sneakers on there, stuff that didn't fit, things from different videos, mystery boxes, you name it. There's a bunch of different kicks on there. So if you wanna grab these, I will put these on the website at the end of this video they should be available so 
Uh, either way, great shoe. I like these, but this will definitely be a minus from the collection at the end of the day. Next up right here, we have the Certified Lover Boy CLB Air Force Ones. I think they did an amazing job on the materials. I love the little details with the hearts around the front end. And then you got the Love You Forever right here on the side of the foot instead of the air. The small details, again, they did a great job on this sneaker. I haven't had a chance to wear them yet. To me, it's just an all white Air Force One. Yes, it's a Drake collab type sneaker, but I think I've just kind of waiting you know i see a lot of people beating their pairs up and i think that's what's gonna happen so i think maybe like i would say not what not this summer but next summer is probably when i'll pull these out put the little beads on there and customize it do the little thing but uh that's just kind of where i'm at with it it's a pretty widely available sneaker so if you are interested in these i think for the most part you should be able to get these for a pretty good price also just to let you guys know we just dropped some new hoodies and t-shirts the size 13 tees but i made sure it's universal for everybody so it says size but if you look in there we got the one and the three for the size 13 gang we got the black we got the gray and the white new hoodies in gray and black all the links will be down below in the description or pinned directly in this video i'm excited to see you guys rocking it whenever you cop something make sure you guys tag me on ig so i can see your fit next up right here we have the nike id air force one this is from a while ago what year was this 2018 it's been a while the materials when i when i was just talking about the materials on the lover boys these the black leather on these these things are so nice. And then it's got the sail colored midsole and outsole area. So I can wear these, dirty them up, which low key, they're starting to get dirty. I need to clean them a little bit. And it was dusty because I wore them to this event and it was dusty outside. But either way, uh, I got a lot of memories in this shoe. I've worn these a ton of times and I love how premium and nice these are. You can dress these up, you can dress them down. You can do whatever you want to do in this sneaker. I like the, the green hit and how it went about it. And uh, it's just a, a clean, clean looking shoe like you can never go wrong with this so this was a a great i don't know it was just a great pickup this is actually something i didn't design my friend designed these he didn't want them anymore i ended up getting them from him because i saw him at his crib and i was like bro what's up if you don't you know what i'm saying and then next thing you know i got them so for me i thought i thought he killed it on this design materials are there they did a great job with nike id i love the premium laces everything like that even look at the velvet right here on the interior and on the back end of the shoe again a beautiful sneaker easy to rock i love these a lot and i don't know if you've seen me wear these before probably i think i posted them on instagram before me rocking them either way <laughs> i like these a lot all right now right here we have the four horsemen lebron air force one this was a pe back in the day and then it came out to the public so to me i was like i had to get this not only because it was, I don't know how to explain it. Like this was a shoe that I wanted to have in my collection that I couldn't afford. It was hard to get. And I was going, I was actively seeking this sneaker out uh, years ago when I was younger. And to see the shoe come back out, just like we've seen with some other LeBron retros, the, the graffiti LeBron fours, different stuff like that. Even with the Watch the Thrones, you name it. There's a bunch of different shoes that they're retroing or re-releasing or releasing for the first time, whatever you like to call it. This is one of those in that bucket list. And for me, I think it doesn't have a huge meaning for me, but at the same time, I was like, yo, I like these a lot. I really, really want these. And with the green on the bottom, it's gonna be easy to rock. They just recently came out, so y'all know me. I kind of take my time a little bit to pull things out because I know I see a lot of other people rocking it. I want to pull out something a little bit different, bring back a little nostalgic vibe at the same time. So I'm going to let these sit on ice. Let me cherish them for a little bit longer. But I don't know. I feel like low-key, maybe by the end of the year or early next year, you might see me rocking these pretty often. And since we're on the topic of LeBron Air Force Ones, we might as well keep it going. We got the LeBron SVSM Air Force One. The materials, the execution, the nostalgia, the memories. Again, seeking this shoe from years ago. Now this is the old shoe. This is not a retro or anything. But going after this shoe from way back, what year was this? This was 2004 right here. So just thinking about that and the time and the era and 20 years later, right? This shoe is still in amazing condition. I love how they got the, the laser hit right there on the back end and same thing on the tongue. All my Air Force One heads out there, you know what I'm talking about. This is a good time right here. Also, let me make another quick disclaimer for you guys. Back in the day when I started collecting, this was like seriously collecting, 2006, 2007. I This was like golden era of Air Force One. So I immediately was, I was copping everything, especially with the forces and all the retros. Bruh, 
I had over 100 pairs of Air Force Ones, some dope kicks, bro. And over the years, I've had some of those crazy grills, but you guys know I made some sacrifices to selling some shoes to get real estate and that was a bigger picture goal so it's fun for me to make this video and kind of go down memory lane thinking about some of these sneakers and you know repurchasing them or going after them like i used to back in the day so i'm excited to make this video not only to show you guys part of my collection but at the same time i'm thinking about growing my air force one collection and getting it back to 100 pairs and doing it again in this modern day and modern era so I just wanted to give you guys that quick tangent. Let's take it to the next shoe. Right here we have the floral, whatever you want to call it, custom purple Air Force Ones. I did this for a YouTube video kind of when I was first starting the channel a few years ago. And uh, it was just a fun little project. And I was like, you know what? These is kind of cool. I started rocking them. People was rocking with them. They seen them and they was like, yo, those are dope. There was people was asking me to do it for them. I was like, man, I should start a customizing business. And then I realized like, that's not worth my time. I shouldn't be doing that. Next thing you know, I just started beating up the shoe and I, I low-key know that now if I wanted to remake another pair it'll cost me seven dollars to do the work and obviously the pair of shoes for retail so about 110 bucks or something like that but again another fun shoe right here and another great addition to the collection and I like these and speaking about customizing let's talk about this one real quick because I got a bunch of Nike IDs in my collection and some other stuff too that I will we'll talk about in a bit but this one was an epic fail <laughs> It just looks like an all white Air Force One. I know, right? I get it. So this is a 2018, 2018 Complex Con. This was the year that Virgil was there. Uh, we go to Complex Con. They got the Air Force One booth. You get to customize forces. They're dip dyeing them. You get to do all these little things, add the different patches and they stitch it on for you. The Air Force 100, Kobe, Virgil, uh, RIP both of, both of them, uh, Kendrick Lamar. You got it, it was just a good time during this time. All these memories are wrapped into this shoe right here. This brings me back to that moment during that time and during that era. Like you guys know my sob story about passing up on the Complex Con Air Force Ones to go get the undefeateds. Either way, this just gives me those memories. So I was at the booth. We were running late, we were doing something else, we had to go somewhere and then we came back, we were customizing and then we ran out of time and then uh, my cousin got his stuff done but I didn't get mine and they couldn't finish it. So I basically left with a pair of all white Air Force Ones. One of the shoes had some pin marks on it, basically customizing this part red and then it had some tape and some patches and then it's a box full of like shoe strings and random patches and stuff. So I got nowhere quick on this one uh but i decided to leave it exactly like this with the stars on the side and the patch on the tongue and things so i don't know i thought it was a fun uh just memory piece and story piece <laughs> the uncompleted project i always say one day i'm gonna complete the project but then at the same time i was like maybe i should leave it as it is let me know down below in the comment section what do you guys think should i take the pieces that they gave me and complete the project or should I leave it as is and always continue to tell the story based on what actually happened? All right, now switching things up a little bit, we're gonna go back to those patent leather vibes on the undefeated Air Force Ones. Now you guys know this was a package, there were multiple sneakers in the pack, but this in particular was my favorite colorway from the pack. Uh, I don't know what it was, but I really liked how they put the colors together on these out of all the set. And I was like debating, debating, which one do I wanna get? Do I wanna pay retail? But I see they're kinda sitting, maybe I can catch them on sale. And then my wife got them for me, and I was like, cool, we good, I got the shoes now. So definitely shout out to her, but either way, I'm very excited to have these in my collection as well. And I'm definitely looking forward to making more memories in this shoe. And speaking of memories, some of you guys know May 28th was a crazy day in my life. I almost lost my life, and I've had custom some sneakers and cleats and balls and helmets and so many different things gifted to me but this one in particular was a crazy gift and I don't know if you guys saw it on the channel I think last year either way uh, this Air Force one was insane shout out to Liz she's a part of the DNA fam she made these her and my mom that came together and came up with a crazy project and it's got you know my old college on there my the Juco I was at and the different stuff right here with my jersey number the details the crazy, the crystals, everything about this shoe is insane. So many memories, so many things that go through my mind and my heart and my soul when I just look at this sneaker. So for me, 
a beautiful piece for the collection, a great conversation piece as well, and honestly just a dope all around sneaker. So this is definitely one of my favorite Air Force Ones in my collection. Man, we probably about like a third way through, so I just had to make sure I showed you guys this and emphasize how much I like this shoe right here. Now taking it to the next shoe, this one's pretty simple, pretty easy. We got the LA Air Force One, all white and black, very simple, very clean, and it's funny, the reason why I picked these up back in the day was because I got them for the low, that made sense. But the other part was these, I had so many memories in the basic white and black shoe. It was the same shoe basically, it just didn't have the LA on the tongue and on the side. It was the Air Force One, came out like, I don't know, about 15 years ago, something like that. What happened was I wore them all the time. And this basically brought back all those memories. So I was like, it's kind of like the shoe, so I'll take what I can get and I just picked these up. And then years later, I saw the retro. And I think you guys saw me make a video on the channel about these right here. But basically, this is like the shoe, just a new modern day version. And it's just all white, all black, simple right here. Same color block and everything's the same as when I was a kid back in high school. And this shoe right here, I made so many memories in them and I said I was gonna do it. I've been rocking these so often. I be trying to clean them up, but the goal kind of is to beat them up at the same time too and just just continue to make memories in these so i've done a lot of things uh with my family and my friends rocking this shoe and again very universal i can wear it with a lot of different outfits dress it up dress it down all the different things but my biggest goal with this shoe was to make memories in this shoe so these in particular i love rocking these as you can see they're a little dirty they a little beat up but <laughs> they still got a lot of life left in them and i'm definitely about to go crazy in them now on the opposite side of things this shoe right here i do not plan on rocking anytime soon i have no clue what my plan is with this one because it's a very interesting situation i have the travis scott sale air force ones now why is that interesting why did i get it right remember during the time everybody was like customizing it and it was doing like the tie dyes and the different stuff and i was like a huge thing because it's basically like a blank canvas i get that well i have the other pair right here i have the white version, okay, cool. But here is my dilemma. The right foot is the sail pair, the left foot is the white pair. You guys remember there were two different Air Force Ones that came out during this time. So my homie, he got them mixed up and then he ended up selling them or something. I don't remember what he did, but either way, he got them mixed up and this is what I ended up getting from him. He sold me these for the low and I couldn't pass up on it because I was like, oh, it's a Travis Scott Air Force One. And it's kind of like best of both worlds, right? Like I literally got both shoes. So I'm like, do I dye the white one and make it look like the cream sale version right here? And I'm just trying to make the age look a little bit on the midsoles and dye the upper a little bit? Or do I like customize them? Or do I leave it the same and kind of be like, oh, I got kind of both shoes? Or what do I do in this situation? Now, I don't know. I haven't put too much thought into it, but at the same time, I'm still keeping these, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, what you would do in this situation down below in the comment section. But I'm gonna consider this as one pair of shoes, not two different shoes because I don't have the opposite foot for each, so we'll just count this as one. And since we're on the topic of Travis Scott Air Force Ones, you know I got them patchwork joints too right here. Or wait, is the patchwork, that's the threes, right? Wait, what is, what was the, I don't remember. Either way, I got this pair right here. So I used to have two of these because I was planning on like taking the shroud off, beating up a pair, but then I had a trade opportunity and I wanted to get some PEs and I was like, because I got two pairs of the shoe, I might as well trade one, keep one on ice, maybe find a used pair down the line. Then I found a used pair, but it wasn't my dad's size, so I just bought them and gave them to him. So I'm still looking for a pair, but either way, I still have a DS pair right here. And you're like, why don't you wear these? I know, I get it, I get it, but that's just kind of how I roll. I want to get a second pair because I do really like this shoe. And you know me, if it's a sneaker that I really like like that, I definitely want to double up and then go crazy in a pair and then have another pair on ice so i can go crazy in those five to ten years from now as well because the prices be getting crazy over the years so either way <laughs> i like this shoe a lot great addition to the collection i know it's not one of the most favorite travis scott's or the most sought after travis Scott, all that great yeah i get it but for me i like them and again to complete the set get the different travis scott air force ones that's why i got the utopias like you saw earlier it kind of just made sense now after thinking about it i was talking about gifting my dad a pair of travis scott air force ones and then i think about it 
He gifted me these Air Force ones right here, so I had to show these ones next. We have the Pokemon DNA Air Force One. So he had this all white Air Force One customized with the paint job. Now you guys know, I'm not crazy into the customs and all that stuff, but when it comes to Air Force Ones in particular, I'm like, I'm open for it, you know what I'm saying? And then when I see this right here, all the nostalgia and everything, my love for Pokemon and all that stuff, bruh like this thing hit home and then looking at the left foot you got the dna show with the gotta catch them all on there again another crazy hit i think i showed these on the channel before i don't remember did i i didn't do like a full review or anything i might have showed you guys these either way or instagram i don't remember so now you guys are seeing them here's a look at the shoe i'm definitely very grateful for this sneaker as well and again I don't know, it's like a trophy piece, you know what I'm saying? Like, do I wanna rock these? Yes, but at the same time, like, I just wanna display them and let them just be seen to the world. Today's partner is Sneaker Throne. They have multiple options when it comes to durable and high quality display cases. One of my personal favorites is the drop side display case. I'm a size 13 and I can easily fit my shoes inside of here and I have hundreds of these stacked throughout my rooms to display my sneakers. When it comes to the cases in particular, you have four different color options, clear, black, white, and red. So if you're looking at grabbing one of these for yourself or for someone else, make sure you guys check out sneakerthrone.com and don't forget to use the discount code DNA show at checkout for 10% off for all your orders. Next up right here, we have the Terra Squad Air Force Ones. You guys saw me recently pick these up in a YouTube video. I think like in the summertime, that was about six months, eight months ago, something like that. Got these uh, when I was at SneakerCon Dallas. Uh, great addition to the collection. I like these a lot, but I still need the black and white pair. And I need that friends and family, that gray and pink pair. Those are crazy too. And speaking of crazy shoes, I think these things are dope. You got the Dornbecker Air Force One. Recently picked these up. So... <laughs> Let me take that back. I had these when they originally came out, uh, but when I got them, they didn't have my size. The biggest I could get was 11 and a half. And I was like, I think it was 11, 11 and a half, something like that. Either way, it wasn't my size. So I had them and I kept them because I liked them so much. And I was trying to find a trade and I just couldn't find a trade. So eventually I just traded them for like a different shoe. Uh, and then years go by and I'm like, yo, I seen these at Untied and I'm like, bro, I gotta get these. So I ended up picking these up uh, just because I always wanted to have this shoe in my size now that I got them, which has been pretty recent, I would say within the past year. I'm like, I'm ready to rock these joints. I don't know when or where, maybe to like a Dornbreaker event or a camp out or something like that for another Dornbreaker release. We got the 20th anniversary this year. Either way, this is a beautiful sneaker. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section because man, I miss having these and I'm glad I got them back. All right, here goes another funny one for you guys. Remember when I was talking about a couple years ago, a few years ago now, when I was doing the customizing, trying to mess with the Air Force Ones, having fun making YouTube videos basically. Y'all remember the hydro dipping area? Well, I did a pair too. And honestly, I thought these came out pretty cool. We did like the blue with the turquoise with the purple. And it, it came out pretty clean in my opinion, if you ask me. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I was originally gonna like get rid of these, but then I was like, bro, I should low-key keep these. But at the same time, I feel like somebody should have these. Like it's a part of the story and the journey of the YouTube channel. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, if I should let these be available or if I should keep them for the collection. Okay, now this next one. I'm gonna need you guys' help, please, in the comment section. I need you guys' input. I did a custom Air Force One challenge. So basically we did a bracket, we had 32 different people in the bracket and I had low key like a couple hundred entries from different, literally a couple hundred different people. But it came down, I picked the 32 favorite that I liked and then from there the bracket came about and it was crazy bro. 24 hours to vote, all the different stuff and there was a tie. So we had two winners, so basically you idea sneaker and then from that point i make the shoe for the challenge winner so i have a pair for my collection and you have a pair for your collection and this was to celebrate hitting 10,000 subscribers on the channel so because there was a tie literally a tie the exact same amount of votes i chose to pick both people as winners so for the first shoe we have this pair right here very simple, very clean, blue with the gray, the white, the blue on the bottom and the gray. And then you got TMC right here on the back and you got GHS. So the marathon continues and then Grant High School, which is crazy because my homie designed these and he was kind of representing, you know, Nipsey and then also 
uh, you know, our high school and all the different stuff. And it was crazy to see him win and it was dope to be able to gift him a pair. And then my other homie, he designed these in another fire colorway. I thought this was a great shoe as well. And this was supposed to represent the YouTube logo. So he did the YouTube colors, red, black, and white. And then he also put 10K DNA on the back of the shoe to represent hitting 10,000 subscribers. And that's what the challenge was for. So this shoe made a lot of sense. Both shoes hit home and it was crazy. So this is two shoes right here basically, but I did this challenge when I hit 10,000 subscribers and these are the two shoes that came about. So now my question to you guys is, should we do this when we hit 400,000 subscribers? If you guys wanna participate in this or if you think this would be another fun challenge to do, cause personally I had a great time doing this. This was really fun. So basically if you win, I'll make you a pair and then obviously I'll make myself a pair too. But I think, I think we should, but I don't know. Maybe we got some other creative ideas. I got some stuff in the works. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Should we do this again? I would love to hear. And since we're on the topic of milestone Air Force Ones, you guys know I had to get something done for hitting 100K and it was crazy because my homies over at Nike, they blessed me with a pair of sneakers and they did a laser engraved DNA show logo on the back of the sneaker and then they got the 100K right here on the front and then they also gave me a premium version of the Air Force One with the 100K right here and the DNA logo on the back end of the shoe. Two beautiful sneakers, two milestone sneakers right here but <laughs> It gets better. They made me a blackout pair as well, but I know the shoe looks funny because they're starting to crystallize. But you also have a DNA show logo right here, lasered on the back end around the heel with the metal tips right there. And then the 100K right here on the front end of the sneaker as well. So it's crazy. We was on demon time, 100K baby. And again, shout out to the homies over there at Nike. But wait, but wait, but wait. It gets better. Little did I know, my mom created a pair of inspired by YouTube colorway Air Force Ones as well. And it has that ribbed leather on the side panels of the sneaker. You got the premium with the red and the white on the front and the back end. Oh, it's so crazy. Got the 100K right here. Oh, bruh. Shout out to my mom on this one. When I hit 100K, it was like a big thing. Like everybody was turning up for me and it was it was just super dope. I was receiving a lot of cool gifts and I was very hyped because hitting 100K on YouTube is crazy. And again, I appreciate all you guys. Hey, when you, let me know down below in the comment section, when did you first start watching the channel? How many subscribers did I have when you first started watching? Because I'll be seeing people and they be like, bro, I remember when you had like 30,000 subs or 15,000 subs, 40,000 subs. So I would love to hear down below in the comment section. Oh yeah, and shout out to all my new subscribers as well. We are on the road to 400K, let's get there. All right, back on track, here we go. The V-Lone Air Force Ones. You guys have seen these before on the channel. I see people commenting about them all the time. I bring them to SneakerCon, people love seeing the shoe. I love the shoe. Now y'all know I don't like orange that much. I got, obviously I got the Halloween Forces and I think that might be the only one besides with these right here with the orange on them. Yeah, I think that's low key it. But I think it's a clean shoe. I like how they put it together. I love the materials on this sneaker. And uh, I love rocking these. So I think it's a great addition to the collection, great addition to the rotation. If I ever decide to get rid of them, great trade bait. I don't know if I'm gonna plan on getting rid of them anytime soon. But you know what I'm saying? The orange, you know what I'm saying? Kind of throw me off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's Go Ducks. It's always Go Ducks. Speaking of Go Ducks, bruh, I have a hit list of Air Force Ones that I need to add to my collection. Low key, I can make a whole video about Air Force Ones. But I need the Oregon Ducks PE Air Force Ones. The ones that came out last year i'm slacking bro i gotta pick those up but i don't have those but it's okay because i have the portland ted talk air force ones let's talk about that real quick these things right here are beauties i'm talking about beautiful okay so the materials go crazy you got the nice tumbled leather on the upper you got the iridescent swoosh you got the tedx portland right here on the front end of the tongue and then you got 1164 that's the amount of days because of covid that they were between events and then right here ideas were spreading on the back end and then 10 right here because this was a 10 year anniversary and you got spreading ideas on the lace tips, everything. They just audacious on the insole. Bro, they did a great job on this sneaker and I also got to be a part of this project and the promotion for it. So 
it was dope to be able to get these for the collection and be in the photo shoot and all the different things i got a lot of memories and obviously repping the hometown it makes sense so great shoe great addition i love these don't ever plan on getting rid of these and uh yeah let's take it to the next one and that is the b more air force one aka baltimore now you guys know Baltimore and the DMV in the East Coast had a huge impact on sneakers, the culture of Air Force Ones, phone pauses, different things like that. So I'm sure, again, there's some crazy Air Force One collections out there. I don't say I pride myself in having the best Air Force One collection or anything. I just, I cop kicks and keep stuff and wear stuff and trade stuff, whatever, get things that I like. This is where I'm at. But either way, this one right here, another great shoe. I love rocking these all white yet subtle hit one of those kind of like if you know you know type of sneakers and this shoe is 20 years old bruh honestly i feel like they're in still pretty pretty good condition if you ask me and since we're on topic with the east coast i can't forget to mention the air force ones that i did at the nike by you at the nike in new york now I was on the billboard in Times Square. I went out there, I was looking for a pair of shoes to make a memory in and keep and have to tell that story. And this is what I came about. That night, the night before, same day, I don't know, either way, I ended up getting these and uh, I did the Harlem on the inside and the Queens on the inside and Brooklyn right here and the Bronx right there with the pigeon holding the newspaper and everything. Very simple, very clean. You guys saw the YouTube video. I'll link it down below in the description. But again, another time piece, a memory piece for the collection. And I think, I don't know about all the Air Force ones. A lot of my shoes, honestly, I got a lot of memories and stories with my shoes. That's why I keep the ones that I keep over the years because typically if it's just like an easy cop and it's another shoe and I'm like, okay, cool. Like, it's just not fun, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool, but like, I wanna have some stories and some memories in those sneakers. Also, if you guys made it this far into the video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that like button for me. It really helps the algorithm. We got about like seven or eight shoes left, and trust me, they are some bangers. Right here, we have the LeBron Chamber of Fear Air Force Ones. As you guys saw on the channel, I did a full review on this sneaker, breaking down the era the nostalgia, the storytelling, how they dropped the different shoes from different cities and all the different stuff from the pack and how they put it together. They just did a great job. And this was something that we don't see as often in sneakers anymore. And I would love to see that type of stuff coming back with the video game and the videos and the, and the music, like just how it all came together. This pack, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. This is just a good time. Let me know down below in the comment section what memories you guys have from this era and all the nostalgia and what, you know, kind of comes to your mind uh, for this time and the type of sneakers that were coming out. Now, next up right here, we have the, I don't know if you want to call them strange loves, but they're pretty close and I didn't realize it until after I got my shoes put them side by side. I was like, damn, those look like strange loves, but they just got a red bottom. Either way, I did these on Nike ID and I can understand why uh, I created it. It's a good color blocking. I like it. The shoe looks clean. I wanted to make like a Valentine's ish type Air Force One because um, most of the Valentine Air Force Ones that have been coming out recently, like they're cool, but I, they just wasn't hitting for me like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make my own this time. So I did that a few years ago. And uh, yeah, this is kind of where I'm at with this pair right here. Uh, I still wish I had my red patent leather Valentine Air Force Ones with the heart on the back. I miss those. I need to get those back in my life. I also need to get all my Sheed Air Force Ones back in my life. I need to get my Linen Air Force Ones back in my life. I need to get my Frederer Air Force Ones back in my life. There's a lot of forces I need to get back. Okay, now you guys remember when I was talking about the milestones and the different sneakers? 200K. We can't forget 200K. I did the Chicago. I said, you know, I'm keeping it classic OG, but I'm putting it on the Air Force One. Originally, I did Bread, I did Royal, I did Shadow, and I did Chicago, and I was like, I think I'm gonna rock with the Chicago. So I did this for the 200K. You got, to, as you can see, we got 200K right here on the front end of the sneaker. Chicago color blocking. And then on the back end of the shoe right here, we have DNA fam. I put that right here on the back end of the shoe with those details. So beautiful shoe, you can't go wrong with it. I'm sure you've seen this done a million times. And this was something that low key I had seen people do over the years and I was like, bruh, I gotta do it. And you know what? I just did it. So uh, that's where I'm at with this one. Let's take it to the next one. And that is the Vault Off-White Air Force One. Now I got these for retail off of a sneakers app. Shout out to my wife coming in clutch for this one because this is what happened. We woke up, well I woke up, I entered and then I tapped her on the shoulder made her open her eyes up, scanned her face with the phone, <laughs> with her phone, and then 
that's how she entered basically. And then uh, next thing you know, I go to sleep, I wake back up, I see that I didn't hit, I look at her phone and she's like, I got him? And I'm like, you got him? So yeah, this was just a crazy time, crazy memories. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this shoe. I wanna wear these, but at the same time, it's like a trophy piece to me. I wanna get a used pair, and I'm debating on what I wanna do and where I stand with it. It's been some years now, so, you know, I saw a lot of people rocking them for a while, and I think it's now it's time to start rocking the shoe. But at the same time, I'm like, damn, do I go after a used pair and keep these? Again, RIP Virgil, that kinda changed my thought process on it because I really love his work, and I wanna wear his work, but at the same time, I wanna like, display his work at the same time with clean pit. I don't know, I'm just running through this whole like circle. But one shoe that I am wearing right now, the Lemonade Off-White Air Force One. This one is more wearable for me and because of that, <laughs> as soon as I got these things, I was rocking them bro. I've been trying to keep them clean, I've been doing my best, but I really like these a lot and I like the leather, the materials and how these go with a lot more outfits. So I decided to go with these, obviously two yellow shoes, one is like a lot more vibrant than the other, but uh, that was my choice. I don't have a second pair of these. I would like to get a second pair of these, a dead stock pair of these. Uh, but if not, it's fine at the same time because I plan on creating a lot of memories in these. I don't know if you guys see the outsole. They are kind of dirty. I know I did a cleanup video, some little spring cleaning, so I did clean these up. But either way, great shoe. Go Steelers. Let's take it to the next one. And that is the Brooklyn Off-White Air Force One. Now I got a chance to go to the museum, see the exhibition, see all the employees rocking the shoe. And it was funny, cause this was like when I was first starting TikTok and the videos was going viral, like getting like a million views and stuff, it was crazy. Seeing them, asking them about the shoe and I'm like, bro, I gotta get this shoe. I tried to get the shoe, I struck out, I struck out, couldn't get it for retail, I ended up Working a deal, getting the shoe, shout out to Untied, got these from there. And uh, this one, Go Ducks. You get what I'm saying, Go Ducks. Honestly, the yellow one too, Go Ducks. But I want a second pair of these because I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna rock these a lot. So I've been trying to be patient. I done put these on a couple times. I wanna wear these things so bad. And they're like, just wear your shoes. I know, I know, I know. But at the same time, I really wanna get a second pair. So hopefully I can find a used pair for a really good price and uh, run through those and then eventually have this pair on ice so I can break these out one day. But I like these a lot. Let's take it to the next one. Oh, actually, I think this is the final one. Now, speaking of that real quick, before we get to the final one, I need the MCAs, I need the MoMAs, and I need the Complex Cons. Those are like low key, the three most expensive besides these ones right here. So. I'm gonna complete the set. I don't know if I'm gonna do it this year or next year, but don't worry, I'm gonna complete the set. Watch me, watch me, I, I promise you, I'm gonna do it. And this set right here, honestly, might be a little bit harder to complete, but that's okay. We got the Louis Vuitton Air Force One. Now you guys know, in my size, this shoe is so expensive, it's crazy. Bro, literally everywhere I go, no matter what colorway it is, 15K minimum. Like, every time, wherever I ask. I just seen a white pair the other day, 15k red pair it was used they wanted like 12k i'm like bro this is crazy so i got the blue pair as you guys know i unboxed a five hundred thousand dollar mystery box from the box i told them i would buy a pair of shoes i ended up buying this pair right here and i have them in my collection now and i'm like i want to wear these to a dope occasion i don't know what it's going to be it's got to be something fire it's got to be you know like I don't know, I don't know, I gotta figure out what it's gonna be. I haven't had them for too long, maybe like a year and some change or something like that. I, did I get these earlier this year? I think I, I don't know, I feel like it's, yeah, it's been like a year or something like that. How long these been out? Either way, I haven't had them for that long. So, you know, I'm letting them marinate. I'm letting them simmer a little bit. But as I do that, the price just keeps going up. So <laughs> I'm struggling right now because I wanna get, I wanna get the green, the red, and the blue and have at least those three. Or maybe, I really like the gold pair. Ooh, I like the gold pair a lot. But I don't know, we'll see. The prices are crazy. I'll try to work some deals, work some trades, whatever it may be. Uh, I really wanna rock these. Don't worry, I'm gonna rock these. I don't know when or where, but it will happen. So that's kind of where it's at right now. You guys have seen the collection. That's like, I think 39 pairs of shoes. I still have some baby shoes too, actually. So let's go check those out real quick and then we'll be right back and see what my wife thinks and what her top five are from my collection. Now y'all know I got a bunch of Jordan baby shoes y'all seen the collection before i might need to make an updated one because it's been a while but back here 
I swear I have at least one pair of Air Force ones. Here we go. What is this? Size 3Y. Let's open these bad boys up. I knew it. All right, so I think this is the only pair of Kid Forces that I have in my collection right now. I low-key need to get some all-whites, but, you know, that, that's easy. So. But these ones, you know, I saw these. I was like, I got a cop. So I have about 40 pairs of Air Force Ones in my collection. I need you to pick out your top five favorite from my collection. I think I'm going to initially go with these ones. Because you have those. I have these. These are my favorite color. Um, and I just, I just really like these. I like the um, metallic swoosh. Yeah, I would say this one okay. for sure. So rock with this one. What you yeah. got next? Oh, these ones you got from the TED Talk that we went to. That was a cool experience. They're cool, but you They're don't. Not that cool. But you don't like them. You just remember the experience. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, just, okay. Um, let's see. I was just talking about these the other day. The Travis Scott. The Travis Scotts. I really like these. Okay. I don't know. I guess there's a theme with these um these colors, huh? Yeah. I'm a neutral gal, so I'm always going to take a neutral shoe over pretty much anything else. And I just like these touches. I think it's really cool. Okay. So, so. we'll put this one on the list. Yeah. What else you got? What other options over here? Let's see. We got to put a time clock on here for you. Yeah, you really do. Because I think <laughs> about things too much. Louis Forces. Louis Forces. Okay. You know, you gotta get a little fancy on them, a little designer. You was there when we shot this video. Yes, I was there. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It's just obviously premium leather. The quality is just insane. And I don't know. Rest, rest in peace, uh, Virgil. All right. So we'll go with that. With this one. Uh huh. Oh. Okay. I remember, because you made this years ago. Like, this was like, yeah. you were just in the garage doing stuff, figuring stuff out. And I remember the era of you and like where you were in your YouTube um journey and i don't know i just think they're cute and i know purple is really big for you and for your mom so i don't know i like these okay fifth and final shoe all right i'm gonna go easy wow new pickup yeah okay Tiffany's. all right so these are your five out of my whole collection what you like the green spark brooklyn's the travis scott's the flower customs the tiffany's and the louis you definitely do have some expensive taste when it comes to these right here always do you think you did good i think i did great okay let us know what you think what the comment section is gonna say <laughs> um you did a great job alexis i would have picked the same exact shoes as you <laughs> Alright, we out of here. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Listen, my DNA, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made